friends in this video we will be synthesizing an organic compound called dibenzalacetone dibenzalacetone or dibenzalidine acetone often abbreviated as dba is an organic compound formed through an interesting reaction known as the claisen schmidt's condensation reaction named after two pioneering investigators claisen and schmidt it is actually a base catalyzed crossed aldol condensation reaction and the details of this reaction will be given later it was used previously as a sunscreen because of its ability to absorb uv light these are the materials required for the synthesis of this compound We start by taking 3.15 grams of sodium hydroxide in a 100 ml beaker and keeping it in an ice bath. Now we add 25 ml of ethyl alcohol into it and then 30 ml of distilled water. Then we mix them up well so that sodium hydroxide dissolves in it. Now we take another 50 ml beaker and pipette out 3.2 ml benzaldehyde into it. Next we pipette out 2.3 ml of acetone and add it into the same beaker. Now with the help of a glass rod mix them well. with the help of a pipette half of the volume of the mixture of benzaldehyde and acetone was taken and was added into the sodium hydroxide solution kept in the ice water bath the addition of this mixture into the sodium hydroxide solution should be done very slowly with vigorous stirring temperature recording is also mandatory because we should keep the temperature below 20 degrees celsius After confirming that the temperature is below 20 degrees Celsius, continue adding the benzaldehyde acetone mixture into it, and we should vigorously stir for one to two minutes. After one to two minutes, we will be observing a white fluffy precipitate in it. Continue stirring for another 15 minutes. After about 15 minutes a pale yellow solution is seen and we add the next half of the mixture into it with gentle stirring Let us briefly see what is going on here The carbon atoms of the acetone directly attached to the carbonyl group are the alpha carbon and the hydrogen atoms on them are the alpha hydrogen atoms Alpha hydrogen atoms are acidic so it reacts with the hydroxyl group of sodium hydroxide the typical acid base reaction so the alpha hydrogen atom reacted with the hydroxyl group to generate a molecule of water this causes an excess electrons on the carbon atom of the acetone causing a negative charge that will then attack the carbonyl group of the benzaldehyde which in turn produces a negative charge on the oxygen and that pulls hydrogen from water and hydroxyl ions get regenerated then another hydroxide ion comes and deprotonates the intermediate which again creates a negative charge the electrons move to form a double bond which then removes the hydroxyl ion this again regenerates the hydroxyl ion now we have benzyl acetone intermediate the steps get repeated on the other alpha hydrogen of the acetone to form our final product dibenzyl acetone after 30 minutes of stirring we are left with a pale yellow color in the beaker now we filter it by gravity filtration method
the precipitated compound looks something like this. After that, we wash this compound with ice cold water to remove much of its impurities that are unreacted compounds. Now, we will transfer this onto a tissue paper in order to dry. This is the final purified crude product. We can further purify it by recrystallization from ethyl alcohol and after that we will get these beautiful yellow crystals of dibenzal acetone. And finally this is our yield. I would like to take this opportunity to thank my Patreon supporters who have financially supported me so that I could get the materials required for doing all these experiments, including this one. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you loved the contents of my video, do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button so that you will get notified about my new videos.